I'm actually a registered nurse, still registered, maybe not for much longer, and a medical sonographer. So I left healthcare in June this year because I could not put up with what they were doing to my fertility patients. Woo! So I've worked in healthcare, in acute care, in ICU, in community nursing and fertility. I've worked in every area. I'm a muscle therapist, a personal trainer. And what I've seen in the last 18 months has been horrific. I've never seen it in healthcare before. I've been on cancer committees for children's cancer. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. We all know the difference between conspiracy and theorism anyway. It's just six months, isn't it? Maybe even two days. You know. <laughs> So um, I have got a wealth of experience in healthcare and I'm here today because there is a lot of misinformation and we need the truth to come out. There's a lot of people around us who are living in fear and you will now hear the voices of people who speak the truth of their experience and that's what you need to be listening to acutely. So what I've seen in the last 80 months has been horrific. I've seen patients refuse care. I've seen fertility treatment taken away from our patients. I've seen patients who've been forced to take remdesivir. Has anyone seen that yet or heard that? So remdesivir is a trial drug that's come from America and it's been um, used in the setting of uh, COVID patients in hospitals and it's causing renal failure and death. So we've had some really good, really robust drugs withdrawn from treatment in order to pave way for these experimental drugs and it's wrong. I've seen patients suicide, I've seen patients who've lost everything, I've seen patients give up their superannuation just to try and get access to healthcare. And I've seen patients who aren't choosing vaccine or injection, they're not vaccines, refuse healthcare and it's so wrong guys, it is so wrong. So what I really want to see for us now is the truth coming out and people to have access to the truth. Because it's time, guys, we have to forget totally about vaccination, non-vaccination, who's vaxxed, who's not vaxxed. This is about, and we all know, guys, it's not about health. It's about control. And if we don't come together with vaxxed, unvaxxed all together, we are really, really stuck. So I can tell you I've had days where I've been on the couch until 12 o'clock in tears in the last couple of months. I've had days where I haven't been able to do anything. Yet I've had other days where I've spoken at, at rallies like this, where I've connected with all the other psychiatrists and doctors that I'm working with around Australia. So we are all going to have really bad days like this, but it's so reaffirming to come out and see all of you here, because this is what gives us the hope and the faith to keep going. Because in Victoria, we have really had the worst deal, one of the worst in the world. So guys, I want, you to, I want to thank you all for being here, because really, you are what keep all of us going. Every one of us is what keeps this possible. So thank you for having the courage to stand up. I'm really honored to be part of it, guys. Um, let's start sharing more of the truth. Let's have the courage to keep doing what we're doing. Thank you.